All right, ladies and gentlemen, good evening and welcome to Lake Area Sports as we are live here for Equipment Bulldog Football. Captains are meeting in the middle of the field. I kind of give you a little bit of heads up. It is horrible service up here tonight, so just bear with us as we get things going. I did not see the Bulldogs won there as both teams are on the field here. We'll be right back. Behind it, touchdown, Bulldogs. Oh. So Thurman's gonna call his own number. He's gonna get in there. He got it. Touchdown, Bulldogs. Oh, no. Jordan Moore Payne's gonna take it himself. He's picked up another cutting edge welding and fabrication first down. It is rolling right now. That offensive line is going to as well. Good uh, dig there by Hartman. Oh. Did he get in? I think he did, Johnson. Touchdown, Bulldogs. Eli. Got you, buddy. Eli. Caught, 20, 10, 5, touchdown, Bulldog. Hartman running, good run there by Hartman. Big block down the sideline, cuts it to the end zone. Touchdown, Bulldogs. And that's going to nail it down for the Bulldogs. All right, ladies and gentlemen, sorry we're going in and out up here. It's horrible service. Bulldogs will be kicking off. Madison Harnick will kick it off for the Bulldogs. And Harnick's kick is on the way. It's a fumble, and the Bulldogs have recovered. On the non-onside kick, the Bulldogs have recovered it. And the Bulldogs will set up shop around the 43-yard line. There is no hash marks on the field, so bear with us on the down line. We'll just kind of bear with it. What was it? And Ethan Thurman is your starting quarterback. There's Eli Hartman running right through the middle of the pack there for almost a first down there, about an eight-yard gain there. About, I'm going to call it seven. But second down and three is what they're going to call it. Opening first quarter. Jordan Moore Payne is hurt. So closest to us is Grayson Ely. Now they're going to hand it to Hartman again. Hartman's got it open. He's going. He's got a cutting edge welding and fabrication first down and more. 28 All right, we are back here. As we are trying to keep service as much as we can here. It's first down. Or second, so excuse me, it's third down now for the Bulldogs. We missed two plays there, so you've not missed anything. Once again, we apologize. Here's a handoff to Hartman. Hartman right through the middle, carrying the defenders. That's another cutting edge welding and fabrication first down for the Bulldogs. Now Thurman's going to keep it himself. Got a flag on the play. See what the flag is. Got a holding on the Bulldogs. It'll be a repeat first down, so it's going to be first and go from around the 15 yard line. 15 yards. So first and go from the 15. 10 15 left here in this opening first quarter. 
Thurman flanked to the right there from Baila Hartman. Now he's going to hand it to Hartman. Hartman's trying to get it behind that line. He's going to be brought down. So second down and goal for the Bulldogs. Garrett will come in for Oakley Smith. Now they're going to give it to Hartman. Hartman's going to be bottled up there, but he still continues to get a pretty good run after being tripped up. So it's going to be third down and go. It looks like they got it around the five-yard line, so it'll be around the six-yard line to call it. So they're calling it third and seven. <clears throat> Garrett's going to come out. Now Javon Nevels is going to come in for the Bulldogs. Bulldogs going quickly here. Man in motion, that's Bryson Thacker. Thacker's trying to get around the corner. He does. Going to reach out for the end zone. They're going to roll him out at the half-inch yard line. So it'll be fourth and goal from the half-inch yard line for the Bulldogs. So fourth and goal for the Bulldogs on this first possession. So again, we apologize for having all the service issues. Thurman's going to give it to Hartman. He's going to get in for a touchdown for the Bulldogs. Six to nothing Bulldogs here. And they'll bring on Madison Harnick. Harnick will be on to kick the extra point. Kick is on its way. It's up. It's good. Make it 7 nothing Bulldogs. Stay with us here at Lake Area Sports. We'll be back here in just one minute. In the heart of rural Arkansas, where community thrives, there's a bond that ties us together. Petty Gene Fiber. We understand the importance of local relationships. And that's why when it comes to connectivity, our customers deserve the best. Whether working from home, learning remotely, or connecting with loved ones, Petty Gene Fiber delivers more than just high-speed internet. It serves as a gateway to a world filled with limitless possibilities. Petty Gene Fiber. Better internet, better service, better price. Hey folks, Sean Gorham here for Cowboys Chevrolet GMC in Heber Springs, the lake area's fastest growing GM dealership, where we make your car buying experience easy and enjoyable. Simply shop CowboysChevyGMC.com where you can pick out your vehicle, get an appraisal and pre-approval, then you can even purchase right there from your living room. Plus, we will even deliver it anywhere in the state. The service don't stop. All right, we're back here from Melbourne, home of the Bearcats at 7 nothing Bulldogs. And the ball's all out of bounds, but touched there by number eight. And I'm going to give you an idea of what this game means here for the Bulldogs. Is This is a very important game. This is the standings coming into this tonight. As the Bulldogs need to win this game to be able to punch their ticket to next week or they'll, they'll play next week from Salem but they need a puncher ticket to be able to go to the playoffs here's the standings right now Salem at the top and we'll come back to that deal the Melbourne equipment are playing for the five seed right now and off there number three is the quarterback he, Yes, number three is the quarterback. Nice so he'll go to the far sideline and get to play. Langston was the bar carrier on that, number 34. Now number four is coming out, Fernando Ventura. Langston's in the backfield with book out. And now, we're going to give it to Langston. Langston's trying to get to the outside. Bulldogs are going to corral him and pull him down. So it's going to bring up third and around four. Helmet does come off of Langston. 
Back to the standings. Here are the standings as of right now. Salem at the top, Perryville. They're playing each other tonight. Newport plays Yellville. Atkins is off equipment in Melbourne. Melbourne equipment are playing for the five seed. Melbourne has Atkins left next week, so they still can get in with a win against Atkins next week. But equipment has to win this week to be able to get into the playoffs. And, of course, they're going to go to Salem next week as well. But this is a must win for the Bulldogs to keep their playoff hopes alive. And that's why this is the most important game of the year. And now it's going to bring up fourth down and around four, or I'll call it three, for the Melbourne Bearcats. They've got to get to the 40. Ball is just short of the 40. Looks like they're going to punt. And Bulldogs have got Grayson Ely back deep for the Bulldogs. You might expect a, a, a fake here, but no fake. Ely's going to get it. On the run, he spins. Now he's at the 40, still spinning. Now to the middle of the field, and he's going to cut it to the round of 40-yard line. Good run back there for Grayson Ely. Bulldogs will set up shop in Bearcat territory once again for their second possession. So first down and go for our first down for the Bulldogs, first and 10. They're going to call it from the 39-yard line. On the board, I'm glad they can see in the hash mark because I cannot see him. Now they're going to give it to Eli Hartman. Hartman's gotten loose. Hartman digging his way through there for a cutting edge welding and fabrication first down. There's a handoff again to. Hartman, Hartman still weeding his way through there. And Hartman, the senior, does not want to be this, be his last chance to get to the playoffs. He is doing the hard work tonight. As now uh, number 79, Caden Cat uh, Harnick, they call him Mello, has come into the game as well as P.J. Garrett. So you've got a huge offensive line up there now. Nobody from the offensive line went out. We got blockers up there. There's another run by Eli Hartman. It's going to be short of the first down. His helmet did come off. Coming in for the Bulldogs will be number six, Devin Boyce. As Hartman will have to go out here on this third down. So third and around two for the Bulldogs. Now Thurman's going to call his own number. Gets the first down and weeding his way through. That's another cutting edge welding and fabrication first down into the red zone. The Bulldogs will be first and go here from the five with eight oh with 6.06 .06 left to go. Hartman's going to stay out. They're going to keep boys in. First and go here for the Bulldogs. Thurman's going to call his number. Remember again, right in behind that offensive line, stretches out. He's going to be short around, probably around the one, in, one, one yard line. Now Hartman's coming back in. Still trying to get that helmet adjusted on. So second and go at the one yard line here for the Bulldogs to take a quick four. 14-0 lead here on the Bearcats. And that's going to be in for a touchdown for the Bulldogs. And I just noticed the score is wrong, so give me one second and I will switch that up. If you're heading home, you now can see it's now 13-0 Bulldogs. 13 to nothing Bulldogs and Harnick on to kick the extra point. It's up. It's good. Two touchdowns now for Eli Hartman and two field goals good for Miss Madison Harnick, making it 14 to nothing. We'll be right back after these words from our great sponsors. Known as one of the best kept secrets for championship golf in Arkansas, Indian Hills Golf Resort is known for its tree lined fairways, deep bunkers, small slope greens and the Indian Rock Cave off number 18 Fairway. Located in beautiful Fairfield Bay, Indian Hills is an 18-hole championship layout course 
with four sets of tees for players of all abilities to enjoy the natural surroundings. Tee times fill quickly, so call 501-884-6018 to book yours today. Roof Tech of Heber Springs is a premier roof replacement company servicing commercial and residential customers in central Arkansas. They specialize in insurance replacements for all roof types. Licensed, bonded, insured, and A-plus rated with Better Business Bureau and 5-star rated customer service. Free inspection and estimates. And welcome back here to Lake Area Sports as the Bulldogs with a 14-0 lead. Bearcats will get the second possession for them as the Bulldogs recovered a fumble on the on, on the opening kickoff. It was not an onside kick. It was just a fumble, and they recovered it and then forced a four and out on the Bearcats' first possession, and now the Bearcats will come with their second possession here trailing 14 and nothing to these Bulldogs. There's a flip out to Langston, and Langston's going to be hitting the backfield, and that was a Bulldog defense. Grayson e, or, uh, Oakley Smith and then number eight, Rossin Thacker, and number 34, Kyler Like on the tackle for the Bulldogs. Now, Bookout's going to throw it across the middle. It's caught and tackled there quickly by Ethan Thurman. That was number six, Logan Zay, on the catch. So they're going to call him C. Never mind, Logan C. So third and three for the Melbourne Bearcats. 4.30 left to go here in this first quarter. Too close as us. Bookout's going to take a snap. Going to roll outside the pocket. Going to look to throw. And almost picked off there by Oakley Smith. So it's fourth down now for the Bulldogs. Did he get that? Huh? Did he get that? I don't know. Was it, did he move it back down? Oh, they're going to punt again. Still look for a fake here for the Bearcats. Still going to be punting them. Healy's going to let that one hit. That one's going to go out of bounds right at the 20. Bulldogs will set up shop at the 20 yard line. Goes out of bounds at the 20. All right, Bulldogs will set up for their third possession. Already scored twice on their both possessions. They've had it. And it's been Hartman taking it over from one yard out both times. Now Hartman again. Hartman. Oh, excuse me, Ethan Thurman's got it. I had me confused. And you too. Oh, that was, did it get you confused? Oh, got Jackson confused. <laughs> Now Hartman's got it right through the middle. Hartman did a 50, and he'll be brought down. Another big cutting edge welding and fabrication first down for the Bulldogs. Over into Bearcat territory. Looks like we've got a timeout. Well, let's take it with them. Stay with us here at Lake Area Sports. Since 1954, F.L. Davis Ace has proudly served the Greer's Ferry Lake area by providing the best hardware and home improvement needs to our customers. Stop by one of our six Arkansas locations in Greer's Ferry, Heber Springs, Sherwood, Pea Ridge, Fayetteville, or Centerton, and let us show you why we're more than just a hardware store. 
We have something for everyone, and you won't believe what we have to offer. Need a new mower? We've got you covered. Need it repaired? No problem. From custom paint matching to the best brands in grilling, FL Davis Ace has got it all. We're also home to the Lake Boutique, featuring clothing, footwear, jewelry, accessories, furniture, home decor, gift items, and so much more. Come by and see us today and let us show you why FL Davis Ace is not your typical hardware store. When it comes and welcome back here to Melbourne High School here on Lake Area Sports as we have going deep to Oakley Smith and is out of his reach. 14 to nothing Bulldogs with 335 left to go. Bulldogs taking a quick shot there at the end zone to make this one a 21-0 lead. Once again, the Bulldogs will be on the road next week as they'll go back, go up on the road again. They'll go just a little bit northern north in Arkansas. They'll go right to the Missouri border. They're going to Salem next week. Eli Hartman, that game's on a Thursday as well as he'll weed his way through to around the 46-yard line. Now, Thurm going to go deep. Trying to go to Ely. Ely's going to it's going to be picked off there by number 11, Tanner Williams. And the Melbourne Bearcats stop the Bulldogs on their third position there. Going up 21-0. Now the Bearcats momentum kind of swung back to them a little bit here. 305 left in this first quarter. It'll be around the 16-yard line. Going to hand it off to Langston. Langston trying to get the corner. Good job there by the Bulldog defense to stand him up. He might have got one yard there. Number 28, Eli Hartman on the tackle as well as Bryson Thacker. And on the tackle. They're going to call it a three-yard gain. It's a good, generous spot for Mr. Langston. Now, Bookout's coming into the huddle there. Man in motion is C. Now, Langston. Langston's trying to get around the corner. It does. The ball and drop down short of the first down, about a two-yard gain. So it's going to be third and five for the Bearcats with exactly two minutes left in this first quarter. Three wide receivers to that far side. Langston over there as well. Book out. going to roll out. Bookout's going to throw, incomplete pass. And we got a flag on the play. And false start on the false defense. Start. See if the Bulldogs decline this. Are going to move them back and replay third down. like the Bulldogs will decline it and bring up a fourth down now for the Bearcats. And the Bearcats look like they're going to punt it again. Back to the Bulldogs. And coming in to punt is going to be m m median. Back deep is Grayson Ely for the Bulldogs. And once again, you got to look for a fake here. Because Bookout is in the backfield. Median's going to kick it. It's going to be a wobbly one out. of. It's going to roll all the way to the 24-yard line, 23-yard line. And Bulldogs will set up a shot with 137 left to go here in this first quarter. Bulldogs take the first two to the end zone. Second, uh, the next one, they throw an interception over in the Bearcat territory. 
They're going to be recognized in halftime tonight, but we want to recognize the graduating students from the class of 1983. <coughs> All right. Great. Ethan Thurman's got the Ely in motion. They're going to hand it to Hartman. Hartman's weeding his way through. Good run there by Eli Hartman. Five-yard gain there for Eli Hartman. Slow to get up was number 54, Dakota Johnson, but he got up. Ely closes to us. Thurman's going to take the snap. Thurman's going to keep it himself. Trying to get around the corner, but he's going to be brought down a loss. Now third. And about seven now for the Bulldogs. Looks like Bulldog marching man made their way over here tonight. Now you're going to have three wide receivers as close as us. That's McThorne, Smith, and... And the Bulldogs are moving on that. Picked off again by number 11, Tanner Williams. And it's going to be right around the 50 yard line. Bulldogs are moving. They'll probably decline this flag. False start on the Bulldogs. It's going to be declined. And giving the ball back to the Bearcats right at around the 50-yard line as they'll set up shop. Well, Langston's in the fullback position. Looks like we got a new running back. And that is a new running back. That's number eight. Carson Medea, that's the punter. Carson Medina, the We're going to call him Medina. Medina is his last name. Medina with a little bit of a run there. Second down and a brown six now for the Bearcats over into Bulldog territory. First time they've been into Bulldog territory tonight. Now Langston's going to the far side. Medina is still in the backfield with Bookout. Cole Bookout's just a sophomore. And that's the end of the first quarter. And we'll be back here to, with the, for the second quarter. Stay with us here at Lake Area Sports. Thanks to the integrity of your roof, it takes a knowledgeable team to ensure a truss has been properly installed with sturdy materials that will last. Family owned and operated with over 17 years experience, the team at Nap Trust will provide customizable premium trust installation services at a fair price. Nap Trust prides themselves on the final product they deliver, which will stand the test of time. For quality trusses built to last, contact Nap Trust at 870-948-2105 to schedule your project estimate today. Back here for the second quarter. Bulldogs leading here 14 to nothing. As the Bearcats have got the football. Now Bearcats going to throw. That's book out. I just got a little screen there, and that's going to be a first down for the Bearcats. So move it to the 35 yard line. Reception on the play by number five. <coughs> number five. Or the Bearcats. 
give me one second and I'll get you that who that is. Well, there is no number five on my list. Medina, the ball carrier there. I'm having number five, so we don't know who that is. Maybe we've got their offensive chart, too. I still don't know number five on that offensive chart. So, all right then. So second down and two now. Even the announcer don't even know who it is. Medina in motion, that's going to be handoff now. I would say a C in motion. That was Medina with a run. That's another first down for the Bearcats. <clears throat> Got to keep a close eye on the weather tonight. Is there supposed to be some rain coming in? We're hoping the rain will hold off until after the game because we do have cameras and electronics out here. Now three wide receivers to that far side. Medina, Medina, with a big run there. He's been a little spark plug since they tell you, put him back there in the backfield. And he's replacing the junior, Lang uh, Langston. So second down now for the Bearcats as they are moving the football. Now book out. Kind of an option play there for book out. He's going to keep it himself. Book out the ball tackle made by number eight. Bryson Thacker on tackle. Bryson Thacker. He's going to bring up third down in about four yards. So third and four here for the Bearcats. Two wide receivers on the far side, one closest to us. Medina, Medina in, in motion, and he's going to be drug out of bounds. Good job by that Bulldog defense. They're going to stay, keep him inside from trying to get around the corner. So fourth and eight now, loss of about three yards there for the Bearcats. So the Bulldogs, good defense to stop there. Looks like the Bearcats are going to line up to go for it here. From their 20. Now, Bookout's going to roll out. Bookout's going to throw. It's going to be caught. And it's going to be a first down for the Bearcats. Completed the number 11, Tanner Williams. All the way to the 10-yard line. So Bearcats will have it at the 10-yard line. First and goal for them with 8.48 left to go here in this first half. It's been a quick first half. Now Bookout's going to throw a little screen there. And the screen set up. It's caught there by Cash Fowler. Fowler's going to be drug out of bounds short of the goal line. Looks like the Bearcats are wanting to go quick here. Bookout doesn't come over here to it. They're going to go quick. Well, the Bulldogs are ready for it. They are. They're right at the goal line. Second down and two. Second down and two, and they're going to run right into that Bulldog defense, and they're going to be in the end zone. That's a touchdown for the Bearcats. And did not see who the number three, Cole Bookout, took it himself. So three-yard touchdown run there for number three, Cole Bookout. And number four, Ventura, will be on to kick the extra point. It is good. Makes it 14 to 7. Stay with us here on Lake Area Sports. We'll be back with these words from our great sponsors.
Mom, can we go to Woodland Mead Park? What's that? It's a park in Fairfield Bay with two miniature golf courses, disc golf, shuffleboard, volleyball, and basketball courts. And that's all in Fairfield Bay? Yep. I guess we can go check it out. Woodland Mead Park is located on Dave Creek Parkway in Fairfield Bay. Attention Lake Area Senior Athletes, you don't want to miss out on this scholarship opportunity. Lake Area Sports will be giving out two $500. And welcome back here. Ventura will be kicking off for the Bearcats. Ventura drives it deep. Healy's going to let it go out of bounds. And Bulldogs will set up shop at the 35. Ventura's kicks allowed to travel out of bounds. So the Bulldogs will get the football around the 35-yard line as they'll set up for another possession. Bulldogs will take over first and it looks now like Jordan Moore Payne is now have come into the game now for the Bulldogs. Jordan Moore Payne will come in. For Ethan Thurman, you got Ely and, or excuse me, Thacker and Smith closest to us. Thacker's in motion. They're gonna, more Payne's gonna call his own number. He's riding behind that offensive line and gets about well, two yards. So second down and eight for the Bulldogs. More pain quickly in motion now. Get the Bulldogs to the line. Now they're going to hand it to Hartman. Hartman's got a big hole. Hartman right across the 50. Hartman all the way to the 35 yard line. That's a cutting edge welding and fabrication first down for the Bulldogs. Big run there by Eli Hartman. The Bulldogs are moving. Got to wait for the chains to set. They're wanting to go fast. And the chains are taking their time. Now Bulldogs will take the snap. That's Bryson Thacker. Bryson Thacker trying to get around the corner. And Thacker's going to be brought down. Bulldogs quickly on the line again. Four yard to five yard gain there for Thacker. Now McThorn and Ely and Smith coming closest to us. Thacker on that far side with Hartman in the backfield with more pain. More pain is going to take the snap. Going to give it to Hartman. Hartman's got behind that line again. Hartman's free. Breaks the tackle. He's taking it to the end zone. Touchdown, Eli Hartman. Eli Hartman, the ball carrier. Play touchdown. 32 yard touchdown there for Eli Hartman. And that's not number one. That's not number two. That's number three on the night for Hartman. 32 yards that time. And Harnick will be on to kick the extra point. Waiting for somebody to get out there before they can kick it. Getting late to the show was P.J. Garrett. Har Harnick's kick is on its way. It's up. It's good. Good. Making it 21 to 7 Bulldogs. Quick possession there for the Bulldogs. Stay with us here at Lake Area Sports. Attention, Lake Area senior athletes. You don't want to miss out on this scholarship opportunity. Lake Area Sports will be giving out two $500 scholarships this year. One male and one female student athlete will receive a one-time $500 scholarship to be used to further your education this fall. Go to the Lake Area Sports Facebook page for more information and to submit your application. Sutterfield Ready Mix located in Shirley and Sutterfield Landscaping Supplies located in Heber Springs are family owned and operated, offering a wide variety for all your ready mix and landscaping needs. We offer mulch, topsoil, compost, sand, gravel. And welcome back here. Miss Harnick will be on to kick the kickoff here. It's going to be an onside kick. And you're going to roll out of bounds, and the Bearcats will set up shop 
at the spot it went out now. It's looking like the 47 yard line they'll set up. Oh, they brought it across the midfield, so 47 in the midfield. Set up on the 7.27 left to go here. Three wide receivers of that far side. Now they're going to move to this side closest to us. And now a pitch out to Medina. Medina, Medina trying to get outside. He's not going to be able to. We have a flag on the play. And then I cannot get to the outside. Let's see what that was. It's probably in the vicinity of a hold on the Bearcats. Bulldogs will probably elect to move them back. It will be a hold. They'll move them over midfield now. So it's going to be moved from the 45 to the other side of the midfield to the other 45. It's the only way I can tell what line it is because if they get on the line, there is no hash marks. So... I'm just kind of guessing tonight. 7-18 left to go here in this first half. Bulldogs leading 21-7. to Once again, the Bulldogs win this one. They will be punching their ticket to the playoffs after the, high, the Salem game and most likely will go to Hoxie. Bookout's going to throw a little backdoor screen there to Medina. Medina's got open. He's going to take it all the way to the house. And nobody will catch him. And that'll be a 55, 55 yard touchdown there for Medina. And on the kick, the extra point will be. Fernando Ventura. And we got flags on the play before the play. Looks like the Bulldogs were off sides. Kicking it will be Fernando Ventura. He just got a few yards closer now. Oh, Bulldogs almost got through there, and the kick is good, making it 21 to 14. Stay with us here. We'll be back after these words from our great sponsors. Sutterfield Ready Mix, located in Shirley, and Sutterfield Landscaping Supplies, located in Heber Springs, are family owned and operated, offering a wide variety for all your ready mix and landscaping needs. We offer mulch, topsoil, compost, sand, gravel, landscape rock, SB2 gravel, bee stone, pea gravel, and concrete. Give us a call today at 501-723-4660 for your ready mix needs or 501-294-8494 for all your landscaping needs. Open Monday through Friday. We deliver. And we are back here, 6.40 left to go. Bearcats make it in the seven-point ball game as they'll come on to kick here back to the Bulldogs. Back deep for the Bulldogs is Grayson Ely. And kicking for the Bearcats will be Fernando Ventura. Ventura will kick it to Ely. Ely's gonna catch it on the run. Ely's looking for the wedge. And he's going to get down the sideline all the way to the 30. As he had to catch that on the run off the bounce. Filled it like a ground ball. And take off running. Now the Bulldogs will set up for their possession here. 6.36 left to go. Bulldogs have gotten three touchdowns from Hartman. A one-yarder, a one-yarder, and a 32-yarder. And Miss Mimma, Miss Madison Harnick is three for three on extra points. And 
Ely set to the far side with Smith. Now Hartman again. He's through the middle of the field. Still chugging. Now cuts it back to the middle of the field. Still going. He's at the 20. And he's going to be brought down at the 15-yard line. What a run there for Eli Hartman. And that's a cutting edge welding. And we're going to neglect that. Excuse me. That is a hold. As the Bulldogs have held at the offensive line. That would have been a cutting edge welding and fabrication first down. What a run there by Eli Hartman. Bulldogs will back up now. Ten yards from the spot of the foul and replay first down. Now they'll go all the way back to around the 23-yard line. So first and 18 now for the Bulldogs. Now three wide receivers close as us. More pain, empty backfield, two on the far side. Now more pain's going to change the play, it looks like. Ely's got single coverage. He's wanting the ball over there. Close as us. Excuse me, that's Thacker. Thacker's over there on there. And Ely's on that far side. Ely's got the ball down the sideline. Breaking tackles, and he's going to get the first down. That's going to be a cutting edge welding and fabrication. First down for the Bulldogs. All the way to the 40-yard line. One play to first down for the Bulldogs. Chains are moving. Bulldogs are quickly going as well. Now, handoff. That was not Hartman. That looked like Devin Boyce in the backfield. That was Devin Boyce in the backfield for the Bulldogs. About an eight-yard run there by Devin Boyce. Quickly on the Bulldogs are on the ball. Bulldogs have got single coverage over here on Ely. Now you got a man in motion. That's Thacker. Warpaint's going to take the snap. Mallorpaint's going to throw to Thacker. Thacker's got the catch and stretching out, depending on the spot. It could be close to another cutting edge welding and fabrication first down. So it's going to be third down now. Looks like they're going to call it third. So it's right at the go, uh, right at the sticks. So third and one for the Bulldogs. The more like inches. Now Hartman's back in the backfield again now. Warpaint just went right up to Cash Hayes and said, we're coming to you here side, big boy. Uh, actually, they're going to the far side, and they're going to get Eli Hartman through for a cutting edge welding and fabrication first down for the Bulldogs over into Bearcat territory with 4.48 left to go. Back to line by number 34, Robert Langston. Play is good enough for a first down for the Bulldogs. Now Morpain's going to take the snap. Morpain's being pressured, going to do something with it. Morpain's going to throw it, and Ely's going to dive for it and miss it. But a good thing in there, Morpain got rid of it. It would have been a big, huge loss. So Bulldogs will replace that. Now stuck it down from midfield around the 50, excuse me, about the 49 and a half yard line if you want to be technical. 436 left here in the first half. Now three wide receivers close as us. Ely on the far sideline. Now Hartman riding behind that offensive line. Hartman's got a burst of speed. And Hartman's going to be brought down. So it's third down now for the Bulldogs. Third and round one. Hartman is a man on the mission tonight. Harnick and Garrett's coming in now for the Bulldogs. Going out, Stacker and Smith. So we're going big on big here. More pain. Hands it to Hartman. Hartman's got his head down. And it on the spot. It's going to be close. It's going to be short. So fourth down now for the Bulldogs. With 4.08 left to go, so it's going to be short. Still big on big. Warpaint's going to call his own number, and he's going to be brought down. That's going to be a turnover on the by the Bulldogs. And he's going to 
to give the ball back to the Bearcats. Right around the 45 yard line, excuse me, around the 41 yard line, excuse me. 357, looked like the Bulldogs had to get to the 40 to get that first down. Now bunched in there around the line of scrimmage, man in motion is C. Now, Medina again. Medina's just cutting his way through. He has been a little spark plug. And we've got double flags on the play now. See what they are. Face mask on the Bulldogs. So that'll be an automatic first down and move the ball. All the way over midfield around the 46 yard line for a first down for the Bearcats. Open. Now Bookout's going to roll out. Bookout's going to throw. And going to be caught there by number 11. Tanner Williams maybe got one and on the spot. Actually, they're going to give him a two-yard gain on it. So, Kyler Like and Eli Hart been on the tackle as well as Oakley Smith. Look out with two wide receivers on that far side. Looks like Langston's in the backfield now. Langston with the handoff. Langston with a stiff arm. Langston's going to continue running. They're going to get around the 40-yard line, so it's going to be third down and around four now. Do we have a flag on the play? I don't know. I don't know why we stopped the clock at 3.02. I don't understand why we stopped the clock there. There was no flag on the play. I guess the referee needed a break. I guess we were going too fast for him. Now Bookout's going to call his own number. and going to throw it across there to Cash Fowler. And boy, I tell you what, he was so close to that line of scrimmage. I wish I'd have been replaying it to see it. I mean, he was right on that line of scrimmage, but a first down now for Fowler around the 2.43. 2.43 to go on the clock. Ball is at the 20 as the Bearcats are trying to knot this up right before half. Well, it looks like we got... Yep, knees are showing. That rule that everybody in football really loves now. I guess the referee can see the kneecaps. They got to be covered up by the knee pads. That's a rule that every football player loves. That's sarcasm, if you can't understand. But then that's a live ball. Okay. So second down. <laughs> As a football had come into our booth up here, <laughs> scared us to death. Second down and ten now. No, but then I was going to get the run. But then he's trying to get outside. He has. And he's broke loose. Touchdown for the Bearcats. It's going to be a 20 yard touchdown run Up there for Carson Medina. That's his second touchdown on the night. No.
Fernando on the way. Ventura. Fernando Ventura. No good. So 21-20. Is no good. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we'll be back. Stay with us here. I know the last three years, people have got accustomed to paying sticker price for a brand new vehicle. Well, it's not that way anymore at Red River Ram. If you're looking for a Ram truck, we've got heavy-duty four-wheel drive trucks starting at $49.5 or up to $12,000 off sticker price for a Cummins diesel. And we've got $11,000 off Ram 1500 Bighorn four-wheel drive trucks. If you want the best selection and the best buying experience, make that beautiful drive right here to Heber Spring. Now during Ram Power Days. All right, Frontera will be on the kickoff for the Bearcats. 21-20 now. Bulldogs only leading by one here as the Bearcats have scored the last two touchdowns. Let's go, let's go, let's go! So a 13-0 run now for the Bearcats after the Bulldogs took a 14 to 7 lead, and there's a delay in game by the Bearcats on the kickoff. Unusually seen there on the kickoff. So Bulldogs jumped up 14 0 on a 14 0 run, and Bearcats scored. So it's a 20 to 7 run right now for the Bearcats on points. As they'll back up now to the 35 yard line. Now the clock continues to run here. Ventura takes his time on kicking it off. I've never seen a ball start on the hope after a touchdown. Now Ventura. Out of bounds, and the Bulldogs will set up shop at the 35-yard line. As the Bulldogs will have more pain in the backfield as Ely will go to the far sideline with Thacker coming close to us as well as Smith and McThorne. Now Hartman, handoff. Hartman's just run into a wall there. Helmets have come off. That was a wall of red right there. Hartman ran into. He lost yards. As clock's going to continue to run at 216 now. Cash Hayes comes out of there limping. Now three wide receivers close to us with one on the far sideline. More pain's going to take the snap. More pain's going deep to Ely. Ely's caught it! And it's going to be out of bounds along the sideline, and it's going to be an incomplete pass. Ely had a step or two on that young man. And just out of bounds. As we'll replay, I play third down now for the Bulldogs. Now more pain's going to change the play with eight seconds to go on the game clock. Six, five. Four, two, barely gets it off. Now more pain going deep again. It's going to be middle of the field this time, and he's got Ely, but Ely just cannot get it. And it's going to be fourth down now for the Bulldogs. Let's see what the Bulldogs will do here. Looks like they're going to be elected to punt here with Bryson Thacker. Hey, 
Back ready to punt. Ah, snap. Thacker gets it. Nice punt by Thacker. Drives number 11 to the 30-yard line. Tonight's game is being brought to you by Petty Jean Fiber, F.L. Davis, A, Snap Trust, Cowboy Chevrolet, GMC, American Safeguard Insurance, Red River Dodge, Sutterfield Landscaping and Ready Mix, Rick's Pond and Swap, Community Water Systems, Cutting Edge Welding and Fabrications, Roof Tech, Carries Hair Shack, Happy Hanger Consignment, and Enola General Store. Or Enola Store Journal, excuse me. And Bookout's going to throw over, throws his intended receiver, number seven, Cash Fowler. So second down now for the Bearcats with 149 left in the first half. Robert, look at that. And we are back to action here. Now that's Langston running. Langston's bottled up. He's going to get about three yards there. So third down and around seven now. They're going to call it nine. Eh? Yeah, they're going to call it seven. 136 left to go. So 125 clock continues to run. Bulldogs have got all three timeouts. The Bulldogs do get the football out of half. As the Bearcats got it on the opening kick but fumbled it. And the Bulldogs took advantage of it and recovered it and scored points out of it. Now Bookout's going to throw. It's going to be caught there by number 11, Tanner Williams, and pushed out. Of bounds, but not before a first down for the Bearcats. Thacker on the tackle for the Bulldogs. It's going to be close to us if it doesn't get us before we get this one over with. And there's going to be a pass interference on the Bulldogs. It's going to be on Ely. So the Bearcats will move it 15 yards and be an automatic first down. They're moving it over to around the 37 yard line, 21 to 20, 36.9 left to go on the clock. Book out, takes the snap, book out looking to throw, going deep. And that should have been a pass interference on the defense. Pass intended for number 11, Tanner Williams. Falls incomplete. But no pass interference was called on that one on the defense, on the offense, excuse me. So second down and 10, 29.4 left on the clock. Now he'll have three wide receivers to that far side. Now Bookhouse going to roll out. Going to throw and knock it down there by the Bulldogs. So replay third down now. It's 24.2 
left on the clock. Ventura is over here close to us, warming up. I don't know if the young man's got the leg and not to kick it that far. I don't know what his target line would be. Now book out with a man in motion. Let's see. Now he's going to go to C. C's going to get out of bounds. So it's going to be fourth down now. Let's see if they bring Ventura in here to try this long field go. Which I don't think they will. That's a That'll be over a 50-yarder. I don't think the young man's got that big of a leg. No, they're not. They're going to go for it here. Fourth down. Twenty-four point two. What are they doing here? Clock didn't start, I guess. Thirteen point two. They took down five seconds, I guess. I don't know what that was all about. So it's fourth and seven. A book out staked up there by Langston. He's got three far on the far side. It's fourth and around seven now. Book out's going to roll out. Book out's going to throw, and it's going to be incomplete. Intended for number 11, Tanner Williams, and the Bulldogs escape that one. And they'll get the football back with 14.6 on the clock. Did the clock even start again? I don't think it did. Exactly. Now Thurman's coming in for the Bulldogs. Thurman's coming in to be the quarterback here. Thacker and Smith closest to us. Ely on that far sideline. Thurman's going to just hand it off to Harnick or to uh, Hartman. Hartman's going to be broke down. Timeout by the Bulldogs, I think. No, they're not going to call one. I think they're going to go ahead and go into half. Leading here 21 to 20 at half. As we have reached our halftime. And we will be back here in a little bit. Give you kind of an update on the score. And Hartman got it started with a one-yard touchdown to make it 7 to nothing. Hartman another touchdown to make it 14 to nothing. Harnick both made both field goals. And then Melbourne got on the board by a touchdown by Bookout as he took it over from three yards out to make it 14 to 7. And then a 32-yard Hartman touchdown run with a Harnick to make it 21 to 7. And then Cole Bookout to... Carson Medina on a 55-yard touchdown pass to make it 21 to 14, and the Medina on a 20-yard touchdown run making it 21 to 20. As we go to halftime, we appreciate everybody watching. As we'll be back here in just a little bit, we're going to go off our uh, on to the commercials. We're hoping we can keep service as we go to these commercials. Stay with us here at Lake Area Sports. We'll be back. <laughs> Pawn and Swap Shop is your hometown spot to buy, sell, or trade gold, silver, guns, tools, jewelry, water sports, and a whole lot of fishing gear located at 7560 Edgemont Road in Higdon. 
Stop by and check out the new inventory at affordable prices. If you're looking for something special, check them out on Facebook or see Nathaniel for any firearms questions. Or you can call 501 270 5969.